For the month of July. I know that these are coming out in a later date. <laughs> okay, um, so this is really going to resonate with you in the beginning of July, in the middle, and in the end, or whenever you are watching this video overall love story. Then we're going to look at how you feel, they feel. You can just pick what side you're resonating more with, and then we're going to see what ties you guys together. Okay, Sagittarius, but what I'm getting for you <laughs> for July, it's complicated. And I, I want to let you know, for Sagittarius, I truly feel like there is so, there's like an energy, a flow, a love of abundance for you, okay? But it's complicated. And I, what I want to do is to see why it's complicated. I don't necessarily feel like it's complicated in a negative sense, but there's more than what meets the eye. You know what I'm saying? Like when you open, when you pull something, you know, you got to look at the contents, what's inside of it. And I really feel like love um, is just not of the surface level um, for Sagittarius in the month of July. We have, as far as, you know, what's going on, why is it complicated? The first thing that we have is fire and passion. So what I feel is like there's a lot of emotions running high, okay? Um, for a lot of you guys, not all, keep in mind that this is a general reading, but for a lot of you guys, what I'm hearing, Sagittarius, is that a lot of you have met your flame, your twin flame. I feel, I feel like just because the amount of tension and a time, like a time, like attention that you've put into your healing journey, really loving yourself, knowing your worth, really elevating your vibration. We know that in order to really come in contact with your twin, there has to be a surf, a surface of really seeking yourself going within because a twin um, is merely a reflection of who you are. All right, your you know the reflection of your flame, so to speak. But I really feel like, um, for a lot of you, okay, you have met a person that you truly believe that you connect with, like on a twin flame soulmate level. Um, I feel like there's a lot of emotion, a lot of passion, a lot of fire, <laughs> okay. And with emotions running high, this can bring up multiple things. But I am hearing it's complicated because for some of you that have met your twin flame, um, I'm feeling like there may be an obstacle, you know, there may be something, um, you know, what is kind of like delaying it, okay, holding it up. So this can be why it's complicated, why you're really feeling all of these emotions. And for some of you, I just really feel like you have the hots, you have the passion, like, you have be, been relit, relit when it comes to love, you know. Um, there's definitely someone that you have piqued your interest or they have piqued an interest in you. And there is a lot of passion. There's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of, there's a strong magnetic pull, okay. And um, you're really having to define that, okay. Now, also, going back to when I said, you know, for some of you, there's just a lot of passion. There's just a strong connection. We also have Lake, which talks about stillness. There is a delay, okay? There is a like a pause. There's a stillness. Even with all these emotions, even with all of this, you know, going on, there's this stillness here. You know, there's just like this weight. We also have vulnerability, okay? And then we have iceberg. And I, um, I really feel like, there's more than what meets the surface. I feel like there's a lot of divine healing taking place right now, really moving those obstacles, removing those obstacles that really keep you or your partner from really opening up Sagittarius and being vulnerable. There's a lot of healing going on right now. And this is why I really feel like, I, I'm sorry if you're not resonating, but I really feel like whoever this is, you really come in contact, or in the month of July, you can be really coming in contact with... Um, Somebody that you feel like is a divine part counter 
partner, like a twin flame soulmate, a divine connection. Or, you know, in July, you can really get set in stone. Maybe you had an inkling, but in July, you really get set in, set in stone. Okay, but that's what I'm feeling. It's just a lot of emotion, a lot of passion, you know, but it's going to take someone to be vulnerable. Okay, it's going to take someone to really remove their self from, you know, whatever this, I, you know, whatever this heavy thing is, you know, that's kind of in between the wedge in between you guys is right now. Okay, so we're going to just kind of look and see, you know, what's your overall love story. But I really feel like that's what, why it's complicated. That's why it's complicated, Sedge. Okay, now let's just see your overall love story. So Spirit, what is Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is their, oh, look, look at already, ready. See? Oh my God. Oh God, we got insecurities. So there is an opportunity here, Sagittarius, for authentic, true love. Okay? But I really feel there is an obstacle in the way from really um, having you go down the next, like get to the next, like go to the next space, go to where you're supposed to go, like where you guys are supposed to meet. What's really blocking you, there are some insecurities, okay, with the seven of swords. Um, I really feel like almost um, Sagittarius is more so nerves, okay, because maybe feeling this kind of love, feeling this kind of passion is, you know, it's so intense, you know, it's so beautiful right here though. A lot of, you know, a lot of, we have the abundance, the six of bows, you know, just a lot of freshness, a lot of funness, just really like relit your fire, you know, it's what I'm hearing, okay? This person has relit your fire, but it's complicated and it could be you Sagittarius that you know, there's some insecurities of, you know, maybe playing on your worth and just how you see yourself. And does this person genuinely like you, care about you? You know what I'm saying? Like you could be playing back in that energy sometimes and it's okay. We, we've all been there, but I just need you to know your worth, but it's all about making an internal decision. Okay. One is wands are spiritual for me. Someone is making an important decision. Someone is making an important decision, whether it's you or them, what they're going to do. How are they going to overcome this obstacle? Okay. Hmm. I feel like maybe it's your partner that has to make a big decision. Whoever, whoever you're having in mind, Sagittarius, that has to make a big decision. And they have to physically move something out of the way in order to really come and to experience this beautiful love that is available for you guys. And then maybe it's you right here. You're feeling insecure. You're, you're not really feeling secure, you know, I feel like within yourself. Because you can be going good, Sagittarius. It's just that sometimes when you get in a relationship, you go to question every single thing. I've done that too, so don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. But the overall energy, the overall story, it's time for both of you guys to really step out of your cocoon. Really step out of stillness. Step out of the hermit mode. Really put yourself out there. Really go for what you want is what I'm hearing. So there's important decisions that you have to make in July. You know, feel like for you, Sagittarius, to overcome this insecurity, you know, or this insecurity that you have in this connection just because of what you've experienced in the past, just to really come into the wanderer, just to really be open about it. And then I feel like, you know, they have to make a decision. They may have, they may have, they have to make an important decision, you know, like what, what they're going to do. Like, th that's what I'm hearing right now. They have to make an important decision. So that's your, what's going on. That's, that's the, I feel like that's the. That is the, the meat of it, okay? So now we're going to look at <laughs> the sides, okay? All right, Sagittarius, so now what we're going to do, we're going to look at how you feel versus how they feel. So I'm going to pull some cards and just see how you feel about the connection, how they feel. Pick which side you resonate, but I'm going to reference to this side to you and this side to them. So before we pull how you feel, I want to pull some emotions on each side. So how is, what is, we already seen it. <laughs> what is Sagittarius's emotion towards this person's spirit? What is Sagittarius emotions towards this person? Okay. Spirit, what is this person's emotions towards Sagittarius? What is this person's emotions towards? I think that's three, three. Yeah. Okay. We got it. We got it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And I feel like between both of you guys, we have water. So there is a lot of emotion. There's a, there's, there's a lot of depth. There's a, this is like a, a really, 
I don't know if you you just met them or whatever, but this the, the emotions run deep. The emotions run very deep. Okay. That's what I'm that's what I'm seeing. It's it's run very it runs it runs deep. Sagittarius. So now let's just go ahead. What do I want to use? I wanna use I wanna use. Let's just see. Let's go ahead and see. I hope you guys can see. Okay. I don't want to use these either. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to see. Hmm. Okay, so now let's see. So, Spirit, how does Sagittarius feel about them? Spirit, how does Sagittarius? Mm, we see in that card. Wow. I don't want to take it. Coming together. How does, Sagittarius, how does Sagittarius feel about this person, Spirit? How does Sagittarius? But there's a little nerves. But you're, yeah, I feel like you're, you're excited. You're excited. You're nervous, but you're excited. Yeah, because in this person, like, you found balance in this person, Sagittarius. Like, this person is, like, truly your match. Like, they have all your elements, all the things that you've been looking like in a partner. Two, two. I'm telling y'all, twin fucking flame. You know, <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you, somebody, like, has really, like, really found a, a divine connection. Yeah. I really feel like even if, you know, if you've been, if you have been around this person, okay, we also have refusing to see. Hmm. I don't know why that came out, okay? What are you refusing to see? Ooh, at the bottom of the deck, we have shine. Shine, okay? Okay. I'm really strongly feeling like a divine connection, guys. That's the energy that I'm, I'm feeling. So I'm going to go ahead and read with it. Okay. So ooh, we got grace, faith, and gratitude. Okay. Some of you may be in denial of this connection. You're refusing to see, you know. Mm. Yeah. I don't feel like it's bad because of the gratitude here. But I feel like... Um, you, ooh, there we go. I really feel like, Sagittarius, you really like this person. When you guys are together or whenever you guys do come together, I really feel like it's harmony. I really feel like it feels like home. I really feel like it, it's peace, okay? You really vibe with this person. You really connect with them on an emotional level, spiritually, and physically. Like, there's just this magnetic draw here, and it's healthy because we have the fine, fine balance and coming together. Um, I really feel like with faith and um, with faith and grace here, I feel like this is someone that you have probably prayed for, someone that you have manifested, someone that you were believing the divine, the universe to really grant you with gratitude. But there's a part of you refusing to see. Maybe now this is where I feel like this is not towards everybody. Oh my God, we got two, two, two. I told y'all six divine love. OMG, divine love. But I feel like for some of you, maybe just because of who the person is or the fact that it feels like too good to be true, it's just a little weird. It's a little weird because you're refusing to see. Hmm. So let's see what Sagittarius is refusing to see, Spirit. So can you please clarify? Okay. Oh, yeah. Your intuition. You're not using your intuition. Okay. Okay. Temperance. I feel like for some of you, it, it can. It, it's not time yet. Yeah, maybe you're feeling all these emotions. Okay. But maybe you need to um, slow down. With the temperance here, you know, or just naturally let it flow or just go with the flow. Yeah, just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Whether you're with them or you're not with them or something has happened, don't get anxious. Don't start second guessing it. Don't start thinking that it's not divinely orchestrated because it really is. But you have to let things play out. That's why I'm really feeling like a, a divine partner, a divine like soulmate. So you're going to have to allow this to play out. Okay. That's what I'm hearing, Sagittarius. Don't overthink it. Just allow it to play. Allow, just go with the flow. Okay? What is meant for you will never miss you. 
okay? Don't rush it, okay? Hmm. That's what I'm hearing. That's beautiful. But I really feel like when you're, you, you know, you, you really, you really do have strong emotions towards this person. This is somebody that you pray for. This is someone that you asked for. And maybe, you know, just cause it's not the, who you thought it would be, or it's not the package you thought it would be in, or, you know, <laughs> unfortunately, sometimes when, um, we're with, um, in union, you know, with a, a twin flame thing right here. Sometimes there could be an obstacle that could be with a karma, a karmatic partner. And, you know, you got to wait that out. That's not for everybody. That's for, for somebody. I am feeling that. And maybe that's what's hard to see. Like, you don't understand, like, why, why this, you know? But in due time, everything is going to be real. What needs to be moved is going to be moved. But I feel like you're awakening to a, a divine connection, Sagittarius, you're awakening to a divine connection. That's loud and clear right here. That is loud and clear right here. And for some of you, maybe, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just too real to be, be true. You just can't find your balance. So your energy is like just scattered. So really ground yourself is what I'm hearing from spirit and your ancestors, Sagittarius, to really ground yourself. Okay, so now we're going to look at how they feel about you and this connection, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Now we're going to look at how they feel about the connection. Ooh, believe and succeed. Okay, believe and succeed. Choose your battles. Okay, so maybe, yeah, like I said, they're the one that has to make an, uh, make a, um, right here is very clearly they have to make a choice. Okay. A choice and it says helpless and hopeless okay now oh I'm gonna poke my eye out Jesus okay <laughs> so what I'm seeing really quick okay understand take what's for you and leave the rest because there's multiple energies coming through so what I'm seeing that this person really feels like you are the one okay they really believe in their heart that you are the one because we have believe and succeed OK, now for some of you, I really feel like this could be a connection where you guys were friends, where you guys were like kind of flirted, kind of talked or some kind of situation, but it never went anywhere. Um, and for some reason, it's coming back around. Maybe you guys have, you know, got back in contact. And I really feel like this person is realizing that, you know, you are for them. Because it says believe and succeed also with the boat. So I really feel like they're moving forward. They have to make a decision, okay, with choose your battles to move forward. So somebody's moving forward. You know, are they going to take the chance? Because with choose your battles in the, in the base chakra, the root chakra, maybe there's a change in the foundation that they have to make in order to really be open to this connection. You know, to really truly give their all. Because I feel like um, a little bit this person is just holding back, a, holding back some, Sedg. Holding back some. And I really feel like it's because they don't want to bring you into something. They don't want to uh, bring you into a situation with helpless and hopeless right here. With choose your battles. They don't want to bring you into with, ooh, seven, eight. They, they don't want to bring you into something. Divine connection, six. Ooh. Mm hmm. Seven, eight, nine, ten, a completion. I know am I weird. My numbers are weird how I do it, but that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, they don't want to bring you into something. They don't want to. They don't want to. They don't want to. They don't want to. Yeah, I, that, that's what I'm seeing. This person doesn't want to bring you into what they want. Rejuvenation. I really feel like with you, Sedge, they just feel like you're a breath of fresh air. You're so out of the norm for them like they couldn't like phantom like somebody like you would want them it's crazy as it is you know I really feel like um you're just a breath of fresh air you're like a light that starts that you know stepped into a dark room to them okay and you really have them inspired again about love Ooh, for some of you going back to the first scenario like when I said that they're really making a decision to be open to them open to this connection because you're just like, when they're around you, it's just so good. When they talk to you, it's just so good. You're just a breath of fresh air, you know? And I feel like you're really make you're helping them rethink the way that they view love on both parts. Either situation that I've described, whether this is a, a twin flame and, um, you know, they have an obstacle to get over 
or somebody, you know, they have obstacles to get over or either you guys are really ha- hanging out and getting to know each other. You really restore their hope back in love. You know, with you, they're like, wow, like I could do this. Like I could, I could like really love again. Like I could really <laughs> court somebody. Like I could really be present. Like where I felt like it was over, where it was hopeless. Like you restored hope, you know, you, you really, they're, they're really flowing from their, um, chakra this this their root chakra so i feel like there could be an advancement they're going to be someone's going to be reaching out okay i'm communicating their feelings for you um but also i really feel like with the first group that i talked about they're going to be like wanting to make it official okay yeah we have honesty okay and then for some of you the one that i said that's in a situation i feel like they could be in a karmatic relationship they could be ending something, something ended, but they, maybe they have to make a, 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 a physical choice to move, to walk away. Okay. But they're going to be expressing their perspective. They're going to be telling you what's going on. Like, you know, on their situation, they're really going to be honest with you. I really feel like this is an honest person. They love the fact that this connection is honest. They love that they don't have to try to be anything, you know, but them in this connection where in the past, both of you guys have tried to morph into you know, different things to please a partner where now when you guys come together, it's truly a reflection of each other. It's truly that harmony within is what I'm, what I'm seeing guys. This is beautiful Sagittarius. So let's just see what's the outcome for the month of July for this person in Sagittarius spirit. Yeah, we have, I really feel like you're just going to continue to grow in the heart chakra, really open up that heart chakra, really, um, allow them, you know, to, um, really come in. And even for them, you know, Whatever you're doing, just keep doing what you're doing, Sagittarius. Um, whether you and this person are in contact or even if you're a twin and you guys are separated, I would just feel like, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, I really feel like the heart chakra is being worked on and really opened up and finding balance, angel of balance for both of you guys as a collective. Look at this. I can't make this shit up. Yin and yang. Okay. Fifth chakra. It's, I feel like telling some truth. A divine connection is literally coming into your life. Or you're aware of it, yeah. But someone has to, walking away, someone has to walk away in order for it to come together. But I really feel like there's a lot of pre appreciation. So even if you guys are just messaging online, you know, um, haven't really came into, um, some of you haven't came into direct contact, you knew them, but, you know, whatever. There's, in order for them to really come towards you, they have to walk away. I feel like they don't want to bring you into something Mm-hmm. They have to clear up this broken heart. They don't want to bring you into something that's messy. Like with the indecision contracts. Yeah. For some of you, they're married. They have to end this. But it's done. They they, they it's done. They they really want to offer you man holding heart or relationship a contract. Something is ending, a chromatic cycle, a lesson they had to learn with a person is ending. But they have, you know, appreciation. They don't want to bring you into that. Which you should always value that, that, that lets you know, cause I'm a firm believer, how you go into a relationship, how you go into a situation is how it's going to end. So the fact that they have respect enough to end something before they, you know, step to you because they, they wouldn't, they appreciate you. Like they, they really put you at a high esteem. They wouldn't do that. Yeah. But I feel like this, this connection is, is hostile. It's just an attachment. Okay. And I really feel like spirit is really going to be helping them remove their self out of this situation guys. Okay. <laughs> so Sagittarius, that is your July love reading. I hope it brought you clarity. Congratulations to all of the people that have found their partners. You're aware of them. I love you guys so freaking much. And if you would like to schedule a reading with me, all of that information you can find in the description box below. As always, guys, thank you for always liking, commenting, subscribing. I'm friendly and I will catch you guys on my channel. Take care. Others to follow, she blazing. Uh -huh.